Hello and welcome back to Crafting with Tanya Friends. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to upload um insert photos into letters, numbers in Design Space so you can create the grad um shirts, prom shirts, whatever you're creating. So the first step you want to do is open up Design Space and open and then you want to hit text and type in whatever you want. So we're going to do the 2019. And once it loads, when Design Space decides to not take its precious time, So once it loads to my mat, I'm going to change my font. Um, I want a font that has a double layer or a back layer. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to just go to Cricut fonts. I'm going to filter. And we're going to do multiple layer. And we're just going to click one of these. Try to find something that's thick. So we're gonna do this. So I don't necessarily like that font. Different one. And we're just gonna do the extreme little league font. So once you find out what font you want to use, I like to fill my letters first before I um, do anything with spacing or bringing them close together. So what we're going to do is go here and we're going to go to print. And we're going to go to pattern to fill it in. Now I have a, um, a photo that I'm just going to grab here. But to load um, any pattern fill, you want to hit upload. And you're going to browse. Then you're going to find whatever photo you want to enter into your design space as a pattern. We're just going to grab this photo. Just going over how to upload patterns into your DS. When Design Space acts so slow, it's so annoying. So once you get your photo here, you can change the name so you'll be able to locate it a little faster when you're searching for it. And then you can press save. And then now you're able to pull it up into your patterns to insert it into any shape or numbers you're using in Design Space. So I have my photo here inserted already from when I did fill print and then clicked here and then i went to pattern and i basically found the pattern i need clicked it and it filled it here now you can change you can edit 
how the picture shows here and you just go up to the toolbar click on the pattern fill and click edit pattern and then you're able to scale it rotate it move it vertical horizontal however you see fit um, a preview usually pops up here design space is not um, acting fully right but usually a, um, a view will pull up here so you can see what you're doing and then you can see the changes here so you can change your letter spacing here if you want your letters to be a little bit closer I basically like my letters to touch when I'm filling them in with a photo. I'm trying to squeeze my letters in closer, but design space is acting really wonky while I'm trying to record. Perfect. But anyways, once you get your letters positioned the way you want them to be, you can um, go over to the toolbar on the side and click the little I, and that will make the fill, I mean the second layer cut of the font show up. Now that one is actually changed also to a printer cut, but we're going to change that to a solid color. Let's do step mm. So now we have our photos inserted into our 2019. Then we have our back layer cut. Um, you don't have to do the double cut if you don't if you don't want to. That's all your choice. Um, I'm going to show you guys now how to make each individual letter a different photo. So we're going to go back and close out the second layer to the font, and we're going to go back up to here and click 2019, and we're going to click ungroup. Now we're going to click each letter. Once it ungroups. <laughs> okay, there it is. Now we're going to click each number and we're going to fill it with a pattern fill with whatever photo we want. And that will be able to get a different photo. All right, let's edit pattern and see if it shows up now. Now we can actually see what we are working with. And then you just change the settings until you get it where you want it to be. So we have horizontal, which is left or right, vertical, up and down. You scale it, you know, to bring it in, zoom in or out. Rotate, of course, is if you want it to make it lean a little bit. Let's just see what these settings do. The design space wants to take its precious little time. So you can change the one. And we're going to add just any whole design and we're going to change it to 9 
I'm not even giving Design Space time <laughs> for its lagging and it's doing tonight. So we're going to add this photo. And now you print photos in each number. Remember, you can go to Edit Pattern to change it up, to zoom in, zoom in, zoom out. You see how it's three photos here? I can zoom it in to make it be one. Um, play around till you get it to where you like it and you're satisfied. Now we can open up the back layer. And we have our back layer here. And if you want each back layer to be changed to a different color, you, do, you will do the same thing. So basically, you will go to Ungroup. And then you will click each fill. You want to move it to the back. Send to the back. All right. Arrange. Send to back. Click. You're going to go to line type cut. In the toolbar, click on the color, click the color you like, go to arrange, send to the back, and now you have your back layer, all different colors. So there's many different things you can do using the pattern fill. You can do it with names, you can do it with shapes, like I showed you in the fan video. You just mess around until you get your photos the exact way you want them to be. And you're good to go. So let me try to change this again for you guys. So you can type whatever name, whatever numbers you want, fill them in with whatever pattern you want. You can also fill the back layers in with photos or with your glitter pattern. Um, the choice is yours. There's many different things you're able to do. Just start playing around until you get it where you want. Then once you're done, you know, you save your project, then you make it, and it's basically a print to cut if you have fill. And then it's just regular cut for your um outline if it's not filled so this will be my print to cut which i will do on printable vinyl or either heat transfer paper also works um the heat transfer paper won't hold up as well as the um, heat transfer vinyl will when you print these out and um, press them on top of regular vinyl i have made several with the heat transfer paper and um, I made them last year and they are now peeling. The heat transfer paper part is now peeling off. So I suggest printing them on printable vinyl. But heat transfer paper will work. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. I said it's don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Talking to me is stop, don't stop, don't stop. Yeah.